Hello folks, this is all from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today we're gonna follow up the Croco Block plugins and we are gonna talk about the Jet pop app. So without any delay, let's go back to the WordPress admin site and let's get started. Right, I am an incognito now and uh, as you might have seen from my last tutorial, I already installed most of the uh, plugins. To install the pop app, once you downloaded your version, you go to add new, upload plugins, choose file, choose the jet pop app, press open and click install now. Once you install it, you will find the jet pop app here on the left. I'm going to start from the bottom part of it, the settings, where you can actually add your API key for MailChimp. This is where you're going to uh, collect all your information. Then we got the pop-up library. We got quite a few. There are about uh, eight pages. You can filter from the contact us, cookie policy, countdown, for example. If you want to run discounts, GDPR, info card, subscribe, and yes and no. Okay, so we're going to look at all of it. A little bit now so uh, this is the second page third page and again we can use some of them for a woocommerce or you know just normal um, pop-up for your blog for example so the next tab is the all pop-up on top and you got here add a new pop-up that you also got up here you can import and then you can have pop-up layouts, how you want to present your pop-up. The classic is in the middle, is light in on the uh, left, a top bar, full width, full view, and bordering. Now, I presume those ones are, can be on top or the bottom, left and right, like the slide in could be on the left or right, and the bar top or bottom. I'm going to create a classic view. I'm going to create a pop up you're presented with this already made pop up or you of course you can actually delete and you can start by clicking add a template here you got some already made uh, for example uh, options i'm gonna close this one here there we go so we can go now at the bottom where you can actually scroll all of it There are quite a few of them. Uh, there is a lot of templates uh, to choose from. Even on this uh, particular sections. There we go. For example, we got 60% uh, off here. Where you can actually add your uh, email address. We got uh, one pop up for newsletter. That's another one for newsletter. Again, you can actually import from the uh, library that I showed you earlier on. Let's import one. Uh, let's import this one here. So I'm going to press insert and there we go. This is all to it. Um, logically, if it doesn't look right, you can still edit the usual way with Elementor. Once you're happy, uh, let's see this one here. Let's call it 9% uh, for example. On this one we're gonna to go to nine percent as well so now everything is in the middle once we're happy we're gonna say publish when it's been done we go into the settings and we're gonna choose how we want this pop-up to show up this is the animation we have fade we got zoom in. Let's go back on fade so you can see it. Zoom out, rotate, so on and so forth. All right. I'm going to leave it to fade. And how I want to open up on the page load, on the time of inactivity, scrolling, if I try to exit on a particular date starting and on custom selection click okay 
I'm going to put it on uh, try on exit. I can show it once if I want to and then never show it again or uh, once it's not showing again, I can say to the cookies to expire after three hours so the pop-up will show up again. All right, then we go this uh, display settings and you can have the conditions. We go to press on the condition, add condition. We want to include the entire site on a single page and we can choose which page or post we want. And also archive if we just want a particular post uh, archive with a tag or anything else. Also, we can actually exclude all the posts, for example, or for example, we can actually exclude a particular page, front page or uh, checkout page or whatever. Or we just want to perhaps show it on a uh, checkout page if we run on e-commerce. I'm going to include on the entire site and I'm going to press save the system just load again I'm going to press again here press X and I'm going to update now that I'm happy I'm going to open a new tab with the web page so you can actually see it there we go now we have loaded the uh, website and as soon as I'm trying to get out, as you can see on the X, the pop-up will come up. Go back to the page and all your pop-up will show up in the Jet pop-up uh, where all the entire part of it is. So that's it for this uh, small review and uh, show off how to use the Jet pop-up and I'll see you next time for a new uh, plugin. Thanks again and don't forget to share and subscribe.